the number one way to overcome feeling stressed. Welcome to your daily motivation and inspiration with Dan, where I oversimplify life and help you to move forward and become a better version of yourself. So here's the thing. I was uh, talking with my son yesterday. We were walking through the park here, and we were talking about emotions. And if you understand what emotions are, I mean, they're different parts of our mind, right? We have different emotions, and uh, we could have things that stir them up. It could be greed, jealousy, um, anxiety of any kind, stress, right? Those things will trigger them. But we only have a certain number of emotions. And those emotions are what? I mean, we have five of them, right? So we have fear, we have anger, we have disgust, we have sadness, and we have joy. And we came to the realization that we have four emotions that actually don't feel so good. I mean, when was the last time you were sad and that you felt good? Or when was the last time you were disgusted about something and that you felt good? Or when's the last time you had you were fearful of something and you felt good about that? Or, you know, I guess, you know, one example that my son mentioned was that, you know, if you get scared, you know, with your friends or your family, they scare you deliberately, you know, then you, you, you know it's fake, right? So then, or if you go into a haunted house or something like that and you, uh, you, you fake fear, right? You know that it's not real. You're expecting it. Um, but also anger. You know, when's the last time you felt good after being angry? And sometimes it is good to feel angry and get that out and, and just lash out and smash something or, you know, or throw something and then you just let that anger go. Um, but for the most part, it doesn't feel good. So consider that for a second. We have four out of five emotions that don't feel good. And we're trying to get to the one that does, joy. So your day is going to be full of emotions that typically don't feel good. There's just no question about it. You have four emotions, you know, if you could think about it as a percentage, um, you know, that's going to be, um, you know, that's going to be... Uh, 80, 90% of your day. So consider that for a second, you know, and, and by the way, I've said this before, but I, I really need to, I need to emphasize it. Feelings are thoughts moving through our body. So our mind can go in different directions, especially when we come into contact with other people. Their personality will affect our personality, or if we let it, of course, right? So if they're unhappy, they're unset, upset, they're yelling, then their personality can affect ours if we let it, right? So we don't have to get stressed if somebody else is stressed. If they're anxious and they're screaming and yelling and having a bad day, we don't have to let that in. We don't, you know. There's no amount of water in the ocean that can sink a ship and there's no amount of personalities and emotions in the world that can cause you to feel bad. You don't have to agree with that. You don't have to allow that to happen. So the key of this, the point of this message is that you have more control over your stress and anxiety than you think you do. You just have to become aware of the emotions that you have going on and the people around you and their emotions. And when they're having an emotional breakdown, you can either move away from them or you can just let them have their emotional breakdown and don't get involved. That's under your control. You have full control over that because otherwise you start thinking things and then those thoughts are going to move through your body and you're going to feel it and you're going to trigger an emotion and then you're going to feel bad. And that is not what you want, likely. So leave a comment below if you like this and if you have any other information on this topic, I'd love to hear it. And if you're not watching this video on my YouTube channel, check that out. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video.